So for um, number 10, it wants us to find at least 10 partial sums of the series and then to graph both the sequence of terms and the sequence of partial sums. Um, so what I've gone ahead and done is I've put this little table here where um, on the second column we have our a n, so that's just our sequence, right? So cosine of 1, cosine of 2, cosine of 3, cosine of 4, and so on until cosine of 10. And then on the third column I have the sum. So for the first sum, it's just the first one, right? It's just cosine of 1. And then for the second one, it's the first sum, so 0 0.54030 uh, 0, 0, plus cosine of 2. And then for the third one, it's the, the cosine of 3 plus the previous sum, plus S2. And then for the fourth one, it's cosine of 4 plus S3, and then cosine of 5 plus all the previous terms and so on. And so for the Sn, we're just summing up all our ans, all our cosine of 1, cosine of 2, cosine of 3, we're summing that from 1 to 10. Um, and then it's asking us, does it appear, well, first let's graph it and then we'll ask that question. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to graph it like so, and like this. That's going to be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and uh, we're going to have here, that's going to be uh, 1, 2, and then negative 1, and negative 2. And just put these here, okay. So let's graph these. So the first one that we're going to graph, and I'm going to color code it uh, in yellow, that's going to be our a n. So that's just going to be our sequence. Uh, so cosine of 1 is 0 0.54, so a little bit above. Cosine of 2 is minus uh, 0.4. 2, so about here. Cosine of 3 is negative uh, 0.98, so almost negative 1. Cosine of 4 is negative 0.65, so maybe about here. Uh, cosine of 5 is 0 0.28, so that's going to be about so. Uh, cosine of 6 is 0 0.96 here. Um, cosine of 7 is 0 0.75. Cosine of 8 is minus 0.14, so about here. And then um, cosine of 9 is going to be not minus 0.91, so about like so. And cosine of 10 is minus 0 0.83, so about here. Yeah. And we have graphed our an. And so now let's graph our sum. So this one here is going to be our sn. Um, yeah. That is going to be our SN. So the first one, it's still at the same point, right? But then the second one, it goes to 0.12. So 0.12, it is about here. And then we have minus 0.86. So about somewhere like so. And then um, minus 1.519. So about here. And then we have uh, minus 1.23. So like so. Um, minus 0 0.27 for, let's see, for S6, okay, here. And then 0 0.47 for S7, so about like so. Um, and then we have 0 0.33. Then we have minus 0 0.57, so about like so. And lastly, we have minus 1.41. And so that is going to be um, like here. And we can see that both the an and the sn, they don't appear to converge, right? They just go up and down, up and down. Um, an is restricted from 1 to negative 1. And s of n, it goes a little bit further, right? But it still seems to scatter, be scattered all around. It doesn't appear to actually get um, anywhere definite. So we say that uh, s of n is divergent. That sum from the graph, it does not appear to have a limit.